All right, guys. Uh, back to do to continue on with the um, DVD overview series of videos. Uh, just to keep current, just to keep this series of videos updated, I'll go over some. Uh, I'll go over the previous sections that have been updated since then. Uh, before I get to the M's, hopefully I can get all through the M's in this one video. So I'm just going to go through the M um, section. But first, uh, through the A's. Um, again, I got this for. Uh, a monk, so it's a double feature, but I mainly got it for this uh, giallo here. So that is that. Over to the B section. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for stopping by and checking these series of videos out. It's appreciated. Um, next is a uh, bombshell bloodbath. Uh, this one was awesome, pretty cool, fun movie. The so bombshell bloodbath. Going down to the um, all the way to the D's will be um, this edition I'll have to do for now it's pretty much just a public domain um, DVD-R it's a, a movie I've been wanting to check out for a long time and that's the demons yeah the demons of Ludlow it seems pretty cool and then a new one I watched that I really enjoyed is uh, the demons rook um, awesome uh, great special effects and just a really unique uh, fun uh, story so that was a good one um, so the demons rook uh, next and I'll going to the E's I got um, I just got this in I haven't had a chance to watch it yet um, it's supposed to be a pretty decent new Bigfoot movie so I'm keeping my fingers crossed hopefully um, I've liked his previous movie um, altered so I'm hoping I can like this one uh, exists so it seems like a fun one so hopefully I'm, I'll, I'll try and be watching this one tonight so exists and then coming on down into the G's <clears throat> small update here is Numb Alone which I thought was okay it's not bad and then from the G's going down to the K's um, I got in Kronos. I want to check this one out. Another uh, old classic sci-fi thriller. Um, UFO come, UFO crash lands in the ocean, I think. And uh, yeah, and um, starts draining, trying to drain the world of its energy. So Kronos. And then in the L's, I got another. I'm starting to collect these uh, dinosaur monster movies. So I've got Legend of Dinosaurs and Monster Birds. So another legend title added in. And then we will start. And that's it for the updates. Um, Alright, let's go through the M's. Uh, classic here, Macabre. Um, totally different movie, same title, Macabre. Totally different movie, same title, <laughs> Macabre. Um, which I haven't had a chance to watch that one just yet. Next is uh, Machine Head. I'm just going to put that down here. <clears throat> um, the Mad. That was a fun one. Um, Madhouse. Video Nasty. I think that's a Video Nasty. That's an okay movie. It's a pretty good one though. Uh, Madman. Madron's previews from hell. Uh, the Majorettes. Mandrake. A Man Eater. Dean Kane in it. This is decent. Pretty cool B movie. Um, double feature of Man Eater of Hydra and the House That Screamed. A Man from Deep River. The Mangler. Uh, Manhattan Baby, Maniac, The Manitou, it's a weird one, uh, Man's Best Friend, Mansion of the Doomed, which I will be getting rid of this edition and finally going for the legit one that's going to be released pretty soon. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the Manster. 
the Many Taboos of Death, uh, Volume 1 through 7. I still need to get Volume 1 through 8. I mean, I still need to get Volume 8. And then I have the last one that, to cap it off, The Worst of the Many Taboos of Death. Just crappy shockumentaries. Um, Faces of Death knockoffs, really. Um, Mardi Gras Massacre. Mario Bava. Uh, Mastro of the Macabre. This is a documentary on him. Mark of the Devil. A double feature for Mark of the Witch. No, it's a triple feature. Um, Mark of the Witch, Brides War Blood, and The Coven. Um, George Romero's Martin. Uh, Martyrs. Classic here, The Mask. Uh, Mask Maker. Okay, Slasher. Double feature for... Uh, the Mask of the Red Death, and The Premature Burial. 80's uh, take on The Mask of the Red Death. I think it's put out by yeah, Scorpion. A double feature of the classic Vincent Price movie, Mask of the Red Death, but I got it for the 90's take on uh, The Mask of the Red Death. It's more of a slasher movie. So that's why I got this. <clears throat> Bootleg for a massacre of you know, massacre at Central High, massacre in Dinosaur Valley, Montango Attack of the Mushroom People. This is a double feature, but I've always liked this cover art, so I printed out. I custom made this cover uh, for Mausoleum, and I forget what it comes with. It's a it's like a drive-in edition and it comes with um what does that come with blood song another 80s obscure horror movie i guess so that's that i got it mainly for mausoleum um maximum overdrive may a good one a bootleg for uh maya um Maya, excuse me. Um, really cool little movie. Uh, definitely needs to be needs more love. Uh, the Maze, uh, Meat Market, uh, Meat Market Two. I understand there's like a Meat Market Three, but I think that's only. I don't know if that's. I think there's an import available for that. I don't. I've never seen it. I barely like the Meat Market Two. But uh, I am curious about it. Anyway, Moral Valley Massacre, another bootleg. Here's a fun one. Uh, Men Behind the Sun. <clears throat> That's a double feature for Mermaid in a Manhole. And then He Never Dies. I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, Metamorphosis. This is an 80s movie. Uh, there's another movie completely different. It's supposedly it's like a loose sequel for the Deadly Spawn. This is Metamorphosis: The Alien Factor. I can kind of see it. It's a bigger budget uh, sequel. Uh, fun movie. I'm a fan of that movie for sure. Uh, methodic. Um, the world's first basher movie instead of a slasher movie. That's what that's what reeled me in. Uh, microwave Massacre. Some classic stuff right there, right? <laughs> um, Midnight, in the 80s movie. Uh, the Mighty Pecking Man. Scoot on over. Uh, the Millennium Bug, another fun one. More recent indie one that I really liked. Uh, Mill of the Stone uh, Women. Uh, Milo, take me back to the video store days. I remember Milo. Love that movie when I was a kid. But I haven't watched it in a while. I don't know how it's held up. It's probably like... Uh, this is from Substance, so it's sort of it's a bootleg, really. Public Domain Edition here. Um, the Milpitas Monster. That's the best I can say. I know it's a monster made out of garbage, so that's what interested me 
that's what made me want to get it. Uh, Mind Killer. Another boot, another movie that needs some more love. Uh, let's see. Miner's Massacre. Um, Mirror Mirror is another movie I watched all the time back in the 90s. Uh, I love this movie. Mirror Mirror. Uh, Mr. Vampire. Mold. Um, I double dip on this one. I, I do like the movie. I wish there was some more um, melting action, but it's a fun movie. I like it. Um, I like the original cover art, so I kind of wanted to keep the original cover art, but at the same time, I double dipped so I could get it on a, a, an official pressed DVD instead of just the DVD-R. Uh, Mom, another bootleg, uh, another uh, fun movie that needs some more love. Mondo Cannibal. Uh, Mondo Magic. Uh, Monster. Uh, Monster Dog. Uh, Monster from Green Hell. Double feature for uh, Monster from the Ocean Floor and Serpent Island. Fun stuff. <clears throat> Monster in the Closet. Monster Man. Another fun one. A TV show, the complete series for monsters, another fun TV show there that I like. Um, I still have to finish watching it. I'm almost done with that, though. Uh, Monster Shark, also known as Devilfish. Uh, the Monster That Challenged the World, another one of my favorites from the 50s. Uh, Monster, uh, well, Monstroid, It Came from the Lake. Uh... I wish it had a better edition out there. Um, the, I hear the Elvira, the one that it's on the Elvira edition is just as, not as good. A double feature for Monstrosity and uh, what else does it come with? I th it comes for it comes comes with Grave Robbers. That's right, A.K.A. Dead Mate. Um, Monstered. Uh, Moon of the Wolf. Uh, Moonstalker Anthology here, Morris County. That was a good one. There's one that needs some more love. Uh, Mosquito. It's a fun one. Uh, Mosquito Man. One of the sci made for sci fi channel movies actually I like. Alright, coming on down. Uh, almost done. Uh, Mother of Tears. Uh, the Mothman Prophecies. I like that one. It's a good movie. Uh, Mountain of the Cannibal God. Mountaintop. I mean, yeah. Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Ugh. I can't say it that fast. Uh, Mugman. Another fun one. I think it's Tim Ritter. No, Brett Piper. Ah! I love Brad Piper. I can't believe I messed up on that. Anyway, uh, Mom and Dad. Uh, the Mummy Legacy Collection. It's a good one. Um, another uh, re more recent indie horror. Well, I think this came out like years ago, actually. Uh, but I really love it, though. It's uh, Murder Loves Killers 2. Fun movie. Um, I don't know. This comes with like a fold-out mini poster, too. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Murder Mansion, uh, Murder Rock, a double feature for um, Murder Run and Unhinged. I already have Unhinged on its own edition, but I still had to go for this uh, double feature edition. Maybe because I, well, I just never heard of M Murder Run. I have yet to watch it though, but I am, I do need to watch that. Um, here is a, a Mutant, another one of my favorite movies from the 80s. Uh, this is. Elite, oh, put this out. Elite still needs more love. I'd like to see a, a better edition. But Elite, I got no problems with Elite. Um, decent company. Uh, Mutant Hunt. Here's another one from IFC that I really liked. Uh, Mutants. It's 
Actually, I'm just going to put that down there. Uh, the mutilator, which um, needs some more love. It's a fun slasher. So, just glad to have a copy. Um, My Dear Killer. Put that right there. A little mockumentary here for uh, the mysterious monsters. It's fun stuff. And last but not least, the M section is always under construction. I still got a few titles I want to get after. It is Mystics and Bali. Bonkers. Uh, fun movie though. And that is it, guys. I'm just going to go through the M's and then I'll do the N's on down later on. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Glad you're digging this series of videos. And uh, take it easy. Later.